Hey everyone, Dr. Frunky here with a really exciting unboxing video on a brand new acquisition for my personal collection. This is the Jonas Iglesias Knives Volt. This is a special knife to me because the first time I saw one of these was actually at Blade Show 2018. Uh, there's a member of our community, his name is Micah, he goes by Knife to Know Ya on Instagram. Very nice guy, I had the chance to meet him at the Blade Show. He owns two or three of uh, Jonas's knives and had a couple of volts on hand and I got to get one in my hand and ever since then I've been trying to find one. Now they've been pretty rare and they're hard to find because Jonas has only been making knives for a couple of years. I believe it's only been about two and a half or three years that he's been making knives, but he is rapidly becoming one of the most sought after makers among all of the sort of high end uh, guys. If you are a member of the knife community, as we all are if you're watching this video, you are probably familiar with some of the high rollers, and a lot of them have Jonas Iglesias knives. There have not been a lot of YouTube videos made about this maker. Our good friend Svi, my French counterpart over there, uh, was made some excellent videos on the couple of volts that he owns and those are beautiful knives and i really strongly recommend that you go and watch his videos i will leave some links down below but jonas is an american maker he is of cuban descent and he makes his knives completely by hand with no cnc and all all old school traditional tools Moreover, he was self-taught. He was not taught by any other specific knife maker how to do things. And so he sort of developed his own style and his own techniques. And uh, you really see it in these knives. His knives have a very unique shape. This is a one-off volt that was done for another uh, customer. I bought this off of that customer. I actually traded him one of my BBM models plus a little bit of money for this guy. I'm very happy with the trade. In any case, the owner specified that this would be a little bit smaller with a slightly different blade shape than the traditional Volt, which is a 3.5 inch blade with a bit of a recurve tanto. This has a flat tanto right there and it's a bit smaller and we'll see that when we get to the measurements. So why don't we go ahead and do that real quick and get some raw numbers on this guy and some vital signs. Up front is about a 3.1 or 3.2 inch blade. You're about 3.5, 3.6 inches to the pivot. You're about 7.3 inches of overall length. You've got about a 4.1 inch handle and grip area right there. With the big Mokume show scale right there, the weight Comes in a little bit bulky for a knife of this size, but again, this is a showpiece right here. Let's let this thing tear. Unstable. Let's go ahead and tear it right there. It comes in at 5.45 ounces, so a bit on the heavy side, but again, this is a show knife. I don't even know why I'm getting the weight. It's completely irrelevant on a knife like this. So let's bring out another couple of knives for a quick size comparison, just so you get a sense of the size of this knife. It is exactly the same size as the Spyderco Para 3 and significantly smaller than the Paramilitary 2 right here. This was a pleasant surprise. Uh, I really thought this knife was going to be a bit bigger and I'm always pleasantly surprised when a knife is beautifully small. Here we have a 3.5 inch knife with the Gareth Bull Shamwari. Also showing off some Mokume here on the pivot collar right there. And while I have these lovely coppery knives out, I'm going to go ahead and bring out my Koenig Knives Arius as well as the Koenig Knives Mini Goblin, another small knife right here. So you can see it's about on the same size scale as the Mini Goblin, so a pretty small knife. Uh, let me go ahead and get these out of the way here. <clears throat> I am enjoying this sort of copper theme and bronze and brass theme. You're going to see that in a few more knives that I have coming up, so definitely stay tuned. Let's go ahead and break this guy down anatomically and take a look at this spectacular blade of what is Mike Norris Composite Ladder Sanmai with an XHP core and this beautiful composite ladder pattern beautifully etched by Jonas to produce a reflective and shiny silver pattern on top of a uh, gray acid etched background. Now, uh, I did not bring this out before, but when you buy one of these knives, you get this awesome little envelope with his logo emblazoned on there and beautiful golden wax. It is a, uh, a wolf howling at the moon. If you're a member of his sort of members only club, they're called the Wolf Pack. You're one of these sort of inner circle uh, in his group. He's got about a 
170 or something like that. If you go to his Facebook, there's some more information on that. I recommend that. But inside is the birth certificate saying 41817. So this knife has been around for a minute, but it is a Volt in Mike Norris com uh, composite ladder Sanmai with the Mokume Shoside titanium lock side and zirconium and Mokume accents. We'll go ahead and move that away. You'll notice also the clip is done in Mokume, but we'll talk about that. This blade is done in a very unique Tanto style grind. This is very characteristic of his knives. If you see a knife with this blade shape, it is probably a Jonas Iglesias knife. It, he goes by J.I. Knives or Jick Knives on Instagram. And uh, it's a very unique shape. Typically, there's a bit more of a recurve to this part of the grind. Uh, but for this build, the previous owner specified that he did not want to recurve. Uh, I like it this way. I really like this blade shape. It is a more uh, usable Tanto shape. Uh, and more easily sharpenable. Uh, if uh, I were to use it heavily, this is probably not going to see heavy use. Let's just be real. I will carry this and I will use it. In fact, I have carried it already. You can see that the patina on the Mokume has already started to change because of my hands. Uh, but I have used it and it is very sharp. I've really only done light duty like cutting open letters with this just for fun. Uh, we'll see how it goes as I keep on carrying this. I really enjoy that there is a harpoon swedge right there. What that really is is a nice area for the thumb to rest if uh, you were going to be using it hard. Uh, this is a thumb stud deployment only. So let's go ahead and move back to the pivot. As you can see, this has beautiful dual zirconium thumb studs right here. It's very, very nice to thumb flick open. I can spider flick the thing. That is obviously going to bring me a huge amount of joy because I love to spidey flick my knives open. When I found out that I could do that, it was a no-brainer. I had to have this knife. I had to have this knife so much that I traded a BBM, and you guys know that that's absolutely insane. Actually, as a matter of fact, I've mentioned that before. Let me bring out a BBM and just show you how perfect this knife is as a replacement for a lost BBM. It's pretty much exactly the same size. Moving back to the pivot, this guy is running on ball bearings. Incredibly smooth. I've not taken this knife apart. I need to find out if there are race bearings against this Mokume. That would be impressive. There is this beautiful pivot hardware, custom made with zirconium pivot collars, all 3D and texturized and orange peeled. Beautiful stuff here. Really impressive. Unlike any other knife I've ever seen. Really glorious hardware. And let's go ahead and move back to this insane, insane Mokume scale. It's got my hand oil patina from carrying it the last couple of days. It looked better when I first got it and took some pictures of it, but look at this. So this is nickel, silver, it is copper, and it is bronze. All three metals pattern welded together in this beautiful flowing random pattern right here. I don't know who made this Mokume. I asked Jonas. Perhaps I'll find out. Leave that in the comments down below. Full thickness Mokume scale all the way through, full thickness. Moving back here, a floating zirconium backspacer. Impressive, beautiful floating zirconium backspacer, matching the zirconium pivot collars. And then onto the backside, beautifully orange peeled, bronze anodized titanium to match the hardware. And then, of course, an incredible Mokume clip. Mokume clips are not the, Mokume is not the ideal clip material. This needs to be a bit thicker and less springy so that it doesn't bend and break. Uh, we'll see how it lasts over time. I do intend to carry this and we'll see how it goes. Uh, obviously, uh, a maker of this renown should be making perfectly centered knives and indeed this knife is perfectly on center. Amazingly, amazingly built. So what do I think of this knife right off the bat? I was absolutely blown away. It's sometimes hard to know what to expect when you're buying a knife from a new custom knife maker. So often I am disappointed. We are disappointed as the knife community. But this knife, guys, this knife lives up to the hype. This exceeds the hype. This blows the hype out of the water. The hype is substantially underdone for this maker Jonas Iglesias, his knives are becoming rapidly more expensive as the word of mouth spreads about how great his knives are, and I can personally attest to that at this point. I am thankful to have this piece in my collection. Uh, it is going to be a special part of a Mokume series of knives that are coming up in my personal collection. So stay tuned. Go ahead and click like and subscribe to my channel. Leave some comments down below. Follow me on Instagram as Dr. Frunky. And as always, y'all, take care.